Hey guys, welcome to another episode of TR's Corner. Uh, similar to my last episode of this side series, uh, I'm going to talk about an incident that happened while I was at a movie theater about to watch a movie. You know, with my small soldier story, you know, it happened during it and it happened before the movie started. But with this story, it strictly, hap it, it strictly happened before the movie even began. Um, during the movie, everything was fine. During, you know, the post events of the movie, everything was fine. So, you know, during the movie, everything was fine. Leaving the theater, you know, the after theater discussion with the friends was all fine. But right before the movie started was when things were kind of not good and kind of rude. Uh, so for today's story, I'm going to tell you about the time where, uh, you know, my friends and I were just getting settled down in the theater. You know, we were very pumped. We were very happy. We were very anticipating what was about to happen at the theater that day. Uh, we were about to sit down and watch The Dark Knight Rises back in 2012. Uh, you know, I was I remember being really pumped up that morning. Like, I think I got right out of bed that morning, ran, and did all my stuff. And, uh, you know, it was during the summertime. And I think I even asked off from work simply because I was really expecting a lot from this movie. And it, and it did. I got a lot out of the movie. But what happened was, you know, we got our tickets... Uh, I was actually with a pretty big group of people that day. It's, you know, I had to introduce everybody to everybody and, uh, you know, that get all of that settled down. You know, so everybody knew who everybody was uh, as we were taking our seats and stuff. But what really happened, this is why I really wanted to tell you this story specifically today, is we had the rudest person sitting in front of us at, the, at this theater room. We had a... You know, it was me and my friends sitting next to me, and there was a guy sitting right in front of us. And given, you know, this this friend of mine and I, you know, a part of this group, you know, we we were telling jokes. You know, we were not really whispering, but like, you know, we we were telling jokes, and you know, we were getting really revved up in the movie. You know, we were really anticipating what was about to happen. And, uh, you know, it was a pretty big deal. You know, they showed a Man of Steel teaser at the time, and they showed a bunch of other cool trailers at the time, too, that really got us really pumped up for the movie, you know, for what was going to happen after we left the theater, you know, the things to look forward to in the future months, if not the future year. And, you know, we were telling jokes, and then we got to the point where we were starting to tell Batman and Robin jokes for the simple reason that, if anything else, hopefully this movie will be better than Batman and Robin. And, you know, of course, it was. And we knew going into it that it was going to be better than Batman and Robin. But this guy, you know, we were telling Batman and Robin jokes, and uh, this guy who was sitting in front of us, like, literally turns around and looks at us. And be like, well, you know, you, you guys are sitting next to each other, right? You don't got to be that loud. And we, we were looking back at him, and I really wanted to say something. I really wanted to say something to this guy. Um, and... To tell you the truth, I think the reason why I didn't say anything to this guy is because, first off, it, it, I would have either done something really mean or I would have done something that just would have been not worth my time. And the third reason was, too, is just because I was in complete shock by just how, you know, unappreciative, on a, you know, it just very... Out of the social norm is what I want to say. Uh, it's just like, you know what? If you really can't appreciate people having a good time, if you really can't appreciate people telling jokes to each other before a movie starts, and keep in mind, there was no trailer showing on the, on the screen. There was no commercials. It was still a black screen at the time. We were very early to the show time. And uh, clearly this guy just completely wanted complete silence, even before the movie started. And, you know, I understand, you know, it, it, it's it's nice to go into a movie theater and it's nice to, you know, watch a movie without, you know, interruptions and things. And uh, But keep in mind, this was even before the movie started. This is before the movie even started. And, you know, we ended up not even saying anything. And actually, the two friends, two of my friends specifically, we were talking about this after the movie too, two of them really wanted to say something to this guy also. And we ended, none of us ended up saying anything. Then he looked back and he was talking to his rude girlfriend apparently too throughout before the movie started so well, the worst thing is he was talking just as loud if not louder than we were when we were telling our jokes before the movie started and it's just like i just don't understand how you know we were having a good time you know we were telling jokes and yet this guy who tells us not to be loud is even louder than us so that's kind of the 
forever thing that's bothered me ever since I saw The Dark Knight Rises is how in the world is there someone this rude, this mean, and just so inconsiderate to be at a movie that a lot of people were really anticipating that day because I think we saw it the day of or the day after it came out. So, you know, it was still pretty new at the time and things like that. It's just the, a good example of just how rude people can be and uh, just how out of society some people can be too. So uh, just another story I wanted to tell you today for TR's Corner, and I will see you guys here for a future video.